Report, thank you. Earlier today, we heard from Erie County Executive Mark Polencars, who also said no countywide driving ban tomorrow with the lighter winds expected. But the county executive is making an interesting suggestion to employers in the area. Channel 2's Ron Plants has more on that. Hello, Ron. Yeah, that's right, Scott and Mary Alice. Again, the Erie County Executive kind of concurring with the mayor's feeling that this will not be as bad as what we encountered over the weekend, especially at the winds. But he did have kind of an interesting comment to make about trying to keep the traffic count down on the roadways while the plows are doing their job. Polling cars says they've gotten guidance as well from the National Weather Service and others and feel again those winds will not be nearly as strong as what we encountered Saturday and Sunday. He does say that local city and village mayors and town supervisors, even if there's no countywide driving ban, those local officials can on their own authority impose driving bans in their communities if they feel the need to do so. But again, here's what Poland Cars told reporters with his message to employers in the county, some of it of a contrast, I think, maybe you justify it that way as well from the mayor's comments. We are strongly recommending that employers uh, use remote work if possible. Uh, we, we really want to keep the number of vehicles off the roads uh, in the next day or two, uh, just so that we have an opportunity to get out there and clear the roads. Now, the county executive went on to say this is why a lot of school districts are canceling classes for tomorrow, because they also want to give those plows a chance to do the job. How much ever much snow we really get, now, we were also told by the mayor's spokesman, I got off the phone just minutes ago with him, and he said that they have been in constant communication with the county executive's office, discussing with staffers with everything going on, and they are evaluating, they're gonna do so overnight, and they are also telling the employers that if they prefer to keep their workers home, they can do so, but they feel they can get into the city safely tomorrow. So again, we'll have to see how this all plays out tomorrow and these contrasting perhaps opinions here. Reporting on the roof in downtown Buffalo, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News on your side. Ron,